Hi, given the following data, load P is equal to 70 kN, sigma tensile strength of road, which is equal to 420 megapascal, sigma, which is a tensile strength of pin, is equal to 510 megapascal, and shearing stress is equal to 396 megapascal and it is given the factor of safety fs is equal to 6 and we are asked to design a knuckle pin the permissible tensile stress for road sigma t is equal to sigma tu of road divided by factor of safety so it is equal to 420 divided by 6 which is 70 megapascal or it is equal to 70 newton per millimeter square. Similarly, the permissible shear stress for pin tau is equal to tau Tu by factor of safety, which is equal to 396 divided by 6, which is 66 megapascal, or it is equal to 66 newton per millimeter square. Now coming to the first section where we are dealing with failure of road intention. So load P will be equal to pi by 4 into diameter d square into sigma t. So we can write 70,000 is equal to pi by 4 into d square into 70 or from here we can calculate d as 35.7 millimeter or approximately we can write it as 36 millimeter. So the other dimensions of the join can be written as the diameter of the knuckle pin d1 which will be equal to d is equal to 36 millimeter. The outer diameter of the I, which is D2, is equal to 2 times D, which is 72 millimeter. The diameter of the knuckle pin head and collar D3 is equal to 1.5 D, which is equal to 54 millimeter. The thickness of single I or road end T is equal to 1.25 times D, which is 45 millimeter and the thickness of fork t1 is equal to 0 0.75 d which is equal to 27 millimeter now we will see the failure of knuckle pin in shear so we can write load p is equal to 2 into pi by 4 into d1 square into 2 we can write 70000 is equal to 2 into pi by 4 into 36 square into 2 or we will get 2 is equal to 34.4 newton per millimeter square. Now we will see the failure of single I or road end in tension. So we can write 70,000 is equal to D2 minus D1 into t into sigma t or it is equal to 72 minus 36 into 45 sigma t or we will get sigma t is equal to 43.2 newton per millimeter square. Now we will see the failure of forked end in tension. So we can write 70,000 that is a load is equal to d2 minus d1 into 2t1 into sigma t or it is equal to 72 minus 36 into 2 into 27 into sigma t or from here we will get sigma t is equal to 36 newton per millimeter square. Hence we can conclude 
that induced stress is less than given permissible stress. So we can say the joints are safe and from the above dimensions we can design a knuckle pin. Hope it is clear. Thank you.